if you've ever stepped on the scales after an off day or an off weekend and realized that you've lost all your progress and regained all the weight that you worked so hard to lose watch this video because the exact same thing just happened to me and i'm going to show you why it's not that big of a deal <laughs> Right, so before we actually jump into the video, I actually have a really important announcement. So basically, uh, see if you're looking at the subscribe button and it doesn't say that you're already subscribed to me, could you like please press the subscribe button? Yeah, that's basically it. Cheers. What's the crack and welcome back to another video. This one's going to be a bit... Uh, it always happens and like... I'm I'm doing everything in one. T I'm doing everything in one take. I used to say, <laughs> I used to every time I messed up, I used to like restart the full video. But it's just taking up too much of my life, so that's why every time I mess up now, I just keep going right. In this video, it's going to be a bit different than my usual videos. What I'm going to do is bring you through, bring you through a weight loss week after putting on a lot of weight at the weekend because basically over christmas before christmas i was about 82 kg and then over christmas i went up to 87 kg in january i decided to cut back down and weight. it was my little sister's birthday over the weekend so basically i went back up to 87 now a lot of people would be disheartened by this and they'd be like fuck i've messed up all my progress i spent weeks trying to get down and then i just messed it up but i want to show you that realistically when you slip up on a weekend it's mostly water weight right i hate to interrupt myself but i sort of want to give you some context as to what water weight actually is because you probably often hear people say like oh chill out it's just water weight it doesn't make a difference but not many people actually tell you what water weight is so basically when you have an off day or an off weekend what you tend to do is consume more carbs and more salt than usual now carbs and salt aren't actually bad but when you eat them in excessive amounts your body holds on to more water starting off with carbs they're stored in your body as glycogen for every gram of, for every gram of glycogen stored in your body there's three grams of water two to three grams of water stored with it so when you eat a lot more carbs you need more water to store it so then when you go back to eating a normal amount of carbs, that water weight will drop off you. In terms of salt, your body has something called sodium to water ratio. So when you consume more salt, you have more soda, sodium in your body. So your body automatically holds on to more water to level off the sodium to water ratio, if that makes sense. So when you eat more salt and more carbs, you hold on to more water. But once you go back to normal eating, that water drops off. And if you get back on track, you can drop basically all of it off. Uh, if you just, yeah, I already said get back on track. I don't know where I'm going with this, but anyway. I'm gonna just uh, do, that's what the crack is. I'm gonna go and do some shopping now, get some food for the week, and I'll talk to you after that. Right, so shopping acquired, and all you have to do is click your fingers, and it just magically goes out of the bag. Look at that. So all the stuff here is just the normal stuff. If you've watched my, all the stuff is just the normal stuff. Fuck, I make no sense sometimes. If you've watched my full day of eating videos, it's just all the stuff. I'm going nowhere with this. You know what I mean? Low calories. Why do I keep saying stuff? Low calorie, high protein items of food that's gonna help me keep me full while I'm in a calorie deficit. So now let's talk about the plan of action for the week. Right, so in order to lose the weight that I'm put on, all I'm gonna do is go back to eating normal amounts of food. I'm not gonna cut carbs, I'm not gonna cut my salt intake, even though that's what caused me to gain the water weight. All I'm gonna do is go back to eating the amount of carbs and salt that I was eating before. I'm gonna aim for about 2,500 calories a day and around 180 grams of protein to help keep me full while I'm in a deficit, and that is literally all I'm gonna do. I'm also gonna make a conscious effort to hit 10,000 steps a day, and that's it, simple as that. I'm gonna do uh, daily check in to let you know how it's going uh, how the weight's going and then maybe show some of my food and stuff like that so i'll see you in the first check-in what's happening so it's day one i'm just going to do a quick check-in here so i weighed myself this morning and i was 85.9 so that's basically like a kilo down already after one day of just going back to normal eating now i'm not saying that realistically everyone is going to have the same effects like when you mess up in the weekend you're going to go down a kilo in one day but it just so happened that i ate like a lot of food like literally so much carbs and salt that my body was nearly exploding so when i went back to any sort of normality it dropped off quite quickly and hopefully it'll continue to drop off i don't really i haven't really said a goal about how much I want to lose by the end of the week but a kilo in one day already so we're doing sweet like so we'll check in again tomorrow what's the crack so it's now day three i know yesterday i said it was day one but technically speaking it was actually day two because i started on monday yesterday was tuesday it's now wednesday so yesterday's check-in was actually day two if that makes sense anyway it's been two days technically speaking i'm on my third day but i've only had two full days of eating i'm already down to 85 kg so that's a kg off each day which is pretty good and i'd like to clarify as well i'm not even 
even like cutting down on carbs or anything. I'll throw my macros up on the screen. I've been eating lots of carbs, mostly carbs and protein and sort of like the minimum amount of fat that I need to survive. I don't actually track specific macros. I just track my calories and my protein and let my carbs and fat sort themselves out. But as you can see, my carbs are really high and I'm just prioritizing. Obviously I'm in, uh, what, did I, what was I trying to say there? I don't even know what I'm prioritizing. I'm prioritizing protein and then just making sure uh, I get my carbs and calories in. Obviously I'm in a bit of a, a slight calorie deficit. I'm eating about 2,300 to 2,500 calories each day, depending on how hungry I am. So I'm just in a slight deficit, going back to normal eating and the weight is dropping off. So I'll check in with you again tomorrow. Right, so before we bounce to tomorrow's check-in, I want to talk a bit about walking because you might have noticed at the start of this, I said I was just doing 10,000 steps a day because I feel like a lot of people punish themselves with lots of cardio when they mess up on their diet, but I'm actually going to show you why that's not necessary. I'm going to use some simple maths in order to show you why in terms of fat loss, walking may actually be better than running. So for the sake of this example, we're going to use a 70 kg person and let's say roughly they burn about 370 calories in half an hour running and 186 calories in half an hour walking. Running puts a lot of strain on the body, so if you're starting off, you're only going to be able to do it maximum three times a week, burning 1,110 calories. But if you walk doing it every day, you're going to burn 1,302 calories. Now, don't get the message twisted. I'm not saying that cardio is bad. All I'm saying is walking is a feasible option as well and might actually be better, especially if you're at the start of your journey or if you just don't really like cardio that much. What's happening? So it's day four here, just doing a quick check in. I weighed myself this morning and I was like 84.7, which is only about 0.3 down from yesterday. And obviously, the first two days I lost a kilo. I haven't been doing anything differently. It's just that water weight will come off quite rapidly at the start and then it sort of slows down and eases out of you. So 0.3 off, I'm going to stay consistent and see how much we can get off by the end of the week. But so far, like two, nearly two and a half kilo down. So I'm happy enough. We're going to stick to the plan and keep our lip. Right. So before we bounce into the last check in, I want to talk a bit about my food choices this week because technically speaking you can just eat in a calorie deficit and you'll lose fat but if you just eat whatever you want when you're in a calorie deficit it won't be good crack basically because you'll have shit energy you'll be hungry all the time you'll be in a bad mood and it's not what you want so here's the ground rules that i stuck to for eating this week i had a protein no i had a uh, i met a protein goal each day two grams per kg of body weight so aim for a minimum of 160 grams of protein each day this is because protein is the most filling macronutrient it's also essential for muscle development and it's just good crack. Secondly, I prioritize volume as foods. If you haven't watched my video on volume eating, go do that. It's basically foods with a low calorie contents but high volume, so I can eat lots of them and it'll help keep my hunger cravings at bay. And thirdly, I implemented, that's a real, that's a tongue twister. I implemented the 80-20 rule, which meant that I had 80% good whole nutritious foods and 20% of the foods that I love to make the diet more sustainable and not over restrict anything. Back. So it is day five and I'm happy to say that it was 84.1 this morning Which means I'm back to the weight that it was previously before I went off track and I thought I messed up Well, no, I didn't think I messed up my well, I didn't think I messed up all my progress But other people might have thought that they messed up all the progress by putting all all ugh. I really can never talk by putting on all that weight but I hope that this sort of experiment showed you that you don't have to over restrict yourself literally all you have to do is get back on track and the water weight will drop off you so next time you think you've messed up your progress don't over restrict go back to your normal eating and you'll be sweet in a few days